Hey guys, it's Wilson here. Today we're going to be sharing with you about why I am quitting my seven figure business. Definitely stay tuned. So before I share with you why I'm quitting my seven figure business, I'm going to show you the projects that I've been working on in the past so you guys know a little bit more about me. So let me show you. I have been working on, let's see here, past projects. So these are the different projects that I've been working on in the past. So this is actually a really cool service actually that I created. Um, it's very, very similar to Grammarly. And this was created, let's see here, that's 2011. Wow, freaking crazy, it's been seven years ago. Um, food safety plan, funding your grants, go gyro, tournament, go lab, IB. Institute B Kiwi. Oh, Kiwi Connect is cool. Yeah, so basically what this is, is it is basically an, a, an app which allows you to talk to different people, very similar to WhatsApp. And um, this was created when seven years ago, all the projections and everything didn't really go through, but it was really cool, I personally think. So we have little baby cakes. Whoa, this is our product. And we were actually selling these in Nordstrom, which is really, really nice and cool. On and what else? OMG. Oh, this is really cool. So OMG is basically a video editing company, basically outsourced the graphic work and the production work, which didn't really work, but it was something that I was working on. Anyways, I just wanted to show you guys some of the projects that I've been working on, uh, mainly because I wanted to show you that being an entrepreneur is not always nice and dandy. There's always a lot of different uh, hurdles. And just because you have an idea that you think is amazing and brilliant doesn't mean it will always work out. As you can see, I've been working on like 40, 50 different projects. A lot of them are not even on my computer and filed. So yeah, it's, it's actually quite interesting looking back into the, the different projects that I've been working on. Um, these are the ones that actually failed. The ones that actually worked, um, I'll be sharing a little bit more with you today. I actually built a tutoring academy seven years ago and that has been doing really well and provided for me for quite a bit of while, quite a bit of time. And that business I sold uh, a year and a half ago. Uh, which allowed me to have more bandwidth to create something new and something more exciting. And right now I'm currently working on an events planning business. So we do all the carnival games for the Richmond Night Market exclusively. So we're talking about like throw a ring on the bottle or knock off all the pins. We are also uh, one of the largest contractors for the P&E uh, selling carnival games as well and operating them. So that's our one of our another division that we run. Uh, I also run the 720 Suites. We started two years ago and now we have four different locations. It's amazing ice cream. Once again, you can check out the video up here. Uh, yeah, so those are the different businesses that I've been running um, until this day currently and um, something that I really, really enjoy doing. If you want me to dive into any of these businesses, just leave a comment below and I'll be happy to create another video just to kind of dive in deep about the creation of those businesses and the in and out. There's so much that I'm, I can talk about. There's so much behind the scenes stories, which I'd love to share with you. But this video is about why I am quitting my seven figure business. So definitely leave a comment below so then I can tell you a little bit more about each of the businesses moving forward. Um, yeah, so why why do I want to quit my seven figure business? Well, the main thing is because I feel um, majority of my businesses that I'm running at this point, they are uh, brick and mortar businesses. None of which has allowed me to really scale uh, to the degree that I want and to be able to sustain and build a team that I can truly be proud of. Um, so for me, it's been always something that I've been thinking of. How do I create a business that that would generate good enough cash flow for us to sustain a kick-ass team, which we have right now. So six months ago, um, me and my friends were talking. Actually, a lot of my friends are in the e-commerce uh, space and industry, and they're making, what, 20, 30, 40 million dollars every year. And they have been saying, like, Wilson, if you hustle as hard as you are with your events, with your ice cream business, with your tutoring business, in the e-com space, 
your return would be much, much more than what it is right now. And that really piqued an interest for me. And I've been always reevaluating why am I working so hard and the rewards are not as, um, as, as lucrative as I think they should be. You know, but don't get me wrong, like I've been having such a good time building my businesses and running the team and very fortunately being able to um, get acknowledged by that through the different awards that we've been having, 30 under 30, New Business of the Year Award, Young Entrepreneur of the Year Award. So it's been a crazy ride, but nonetheless, it's just not as fulfilling as I, I want it to be because I can't really take care of my team as much as I want. Um, which is why six months ago, when my businesses were plateauing, I've been, you know, thinking about what should I be working on next. Um, that was when I I really opened up back to, into e-com space. And for me, my biggest motive and my biggest what drives me to work every day is to be able to inspire people around me to discover their potential so that they can be the best versions of themselves. And for me, thinking and realizing that being in e-com, being in this space, which allows me to grow and scale much better, would allow me to do that much easier. Because now you don't need to worry about the high rents that we're talking about associated with you know, running a brick and mortar business. We're talking about you know, each individual can bring in so much more revenue given the fact that they have the skill set to do so. Whereas let's say if you're selling ice cream, you can only sell so much a day. And yeah, so for me, it's just being able to, to build that team up is my biggest motivation and to be able to make a positive impact um, with them. So, so that's the reason why six months ago um, I decided that e-commerce is going to be where I'm going to be doubling down and everything. I feel like in the next four or five years or even the next 10 years, shopping online is just going to become the norm. And that's the reason why I'm just heading into e-com and just trying to start from scratch again, you know, forgive for going or just, you know, putting aside my seven figure business to jump into e-com, starting as a noob and really checking my, my ego and my pride at the door because you know sometimes it's difficult that you've been in business for so long for me it's been over 10 years that I've been in business and now I'm starting from scratch again um, it's definitely a big reality check uh, but also it's very it's a very uh, humbling experience to know that you know as an entrepreneur you've got to always be humble enough to always learn and that's something that I realized which is really really cool um, now we're in the first month of of business with Amazon doing uh, uh, Amazon fulfillment and our sales are already over 10k which is freaking bomb um, it's really crazy because all along we thought that the product that we we're selling was a dud that it would not work out that you know selling stuff online has always been such a mythical thing that does it that we always doubt does it even work there's so many gurus online teaching you you know how I make ten thousand dollars a month da 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 so on and so forth and for me it was always been something so mystical something so like up in the clouds but for me to actually be able to achieve it with our team in our first month has been very inspiring and has been a very validating that this stuff actually works and yeah it's just been really really a cool experience because for me I personally spend what like 10, 20 hours in this project. And my other teammate, Josh, he spent another, uh, what, he works on it two days a week and we're able to scale it to a 10K business within the first month. So, and that's only with one SKU. So imagine how big of a brand that we can create if we have more resources thrown into it. So nonetheless, it's something that I'm very, very interested in and really focusing and honing my craft in this field. I even created a podcast. It's called Actualize Freedom, which will be in the description below. Make sure you guys subscribe to that and follow our journey. And just this is where I would be sharing 
the different strategies and different lessons that I've learned about e-commerce with you guys on a weekly basis. My partner Danny has been in the space for a while and he's been super, very, super, super knowledgeable with this. Um, yeah, so it's been really, really crazy. And if you want to know more about e-commerce, if you want to be able to follow the progress of how we're going to be scaling into a seven-figure business in the next year, definitely subscribe to this channel. And yeah, it's actually my first time coming out as um, as a noob, trying to learn something new, going into new industry. So not feeling too comfortable about it, but nonetheless, I feel like that this documentary is is very much needed to mark the beginning of what I'm trying to create. And hopefully, um, yeah, you guys can give me some pointers, hints, comments, support. Make sure you guys subscribe, leave me comments below, and I'll be happy to reply to you guys. And if you guys want to know more about how I made 10K in my first month selling on Amazon, make sure you check out the next video. That video, I'm going to be sharing a lot more about the, the timeline, the exact timeline, the strategies that I've been using, um, my mindset, so then you guys can, you know, learn from that or learn from that experience and hopefully you guys can do the same okay so make sure that you guys subscribe into the channel follow the journey leave me some comments let me know how i'm doing and i'll be happy to see you guys in the following week see ya